supposedly have a dead body. I'm determined to find this owner so we can get these dogs out of here. This dog should be a lot more active. It shouldn't lay here like a lifeless rug. You guys were blatantly, recklessly, intentionally, knowingly neglected these animals. And now somebody needs to speak for them. He's still on the freeway. <laughs> possibly have a dead body. We've got at least three dogs that I can see that are loose. One is extremely thin. Um, supposedly they were fighting. They're not now. And secondly, supposedly there's a dead dog that they've killed and they're eating it. We're looking for a DOA right now. I don't see a DOA anywhere, Stacy. As Stacy and Brandon search for the dead dog, two residents of the house return. They admit one of their friend's dogs is dead, though not from fighting. Uh, what we do need to talk about is the dead dog. When did it die? Yesterday. He was fine. Okay. She was fine yesterday. Where, was it, did you find it dead in the backyard? No. She Where'd you find fine. it? The night before she was fine. I was feeding it. She came running to me. Everything was fine. So she died yesterday. What'd you do with the body? Um, Tell me the truth. What'd you do with the body? You're not in trouble, but I need the body. Is it in the garbage can? You got a body bag on you, right? The woman confesses the dead dog is in a dumpster out back. She refuses to show Stacy where. right here. This is our smoking gun case. This is what does it. Admission to a dead body. The dog has no wounds, but it is emaciated. When you come across a dead dog, it's never, never the same. And then to find that the owner just kind of took the dog and discarded it, threw away in the trash like it was just nothing. I'm determined to find this owner so we can get these dogs out of here.